Hello, my name is Sybil Harmony, and I'm an intuitive, a medium, and I help people on their awakening path. So you could say I'm a healer. Um, and this is a world event video. And I'm looking at the energy of America and the Democrats. And in Europe, people, you often hear people say, what happened? What's happening? What's wrong with America? Oh, yeah. What's wrong with America? So we are, um, a lot of our youth are looking at their cell phones or their social media and can be easily influenced maybe don't have an understanding of history and um with the also with the mainstream media we've been bought and sold so in europe you can't have commercials drug companies unlimited commercials on or any commercials on tv so we have obesity cancer diabetes expensive health care expensive medications high cost of college, student debt loan, inflated prices for living and groceries. And then the, the Democrats think, well, we're, you know, what's wrong? Why didn't we win? <laughs> and the media is bought and sold and paid for by billionaires. Now we have a president about to be installed for seeing some the evidence coming forward that there was um, that this election was not free and fair, and now we're all afraid to say that because we've been saying for years it is free and fair. Well, isn't that perfect way to you know with the the threats of the BOMBs, with um, them voter uh, laws being overrid, with people take being taken off registration, and there's always been funny stuff going on in Texas and Georgia. So sorry, that's been going on for a while. So um, now they made it. So um, yeah, it's, and, the, and the mainstream media, when they talk about people who are independents or could be more even middle of the road people or progressives, they're like, oh, those, the progressive people are over here and we need to be middle of the road. I do feel like it helps us to not hate each other and to come up with solutions that work for everybody. So I agree with that. But I could see years ago, Rachel Maddow, when Bernie Sanders was running against, uh, who was it? I think it was Biden that, um, or Hillary Clinton or something like that, that Rachel Maddow's mouth was literally, she was gagged. She was on a gag order not to say anything positive about Bernie Sanders. So this has been happening for decades in our country. Big oil companies and big corporations are getting more and more power. And you may be okay. I mean, you may be in the stock market and have um, a pension or have, you know, provided, you know, are doing okay. You may be middle, upper class. You may be doing okay. That's fine but you're not going to win the votes you want unless you are supporting all of American, uh, working class American, lower class, middle class America is really being squeezed. And that's, and we keep putting forward these candidates that promise all, or, you know, we're going to do all this stuff. Even Obama got in there and did some good stuff, but he didn't do enough. And Biden did a lot but there's a lot of stuff that was rolled back that he tried to do. I talked to a lot of people out here in California. They are angry. They did not get their student loans. They don't know anybody who got a student loan. So saying their student loans and getting student loans is different. People go and they look at the prices of gas and housing and groceries, and they think, well, this person isn't helping me. They don't watch the shows or the videos like this. But they know, you know, they can't go to college. They have debt. It's it's huge cost to go to the doctor. People are not being taken care of. And we have sold ourselves. So bust the game. We need to bust the game. And this could take decades. This could take, uh, you know, hundreds of years if we ever want to get our our planet back and it is about 
the human species, not just about um, America. We need allies. And it is about us coming to a better place. And so busting the game, it's time we bust the game of all the disinformation and the distortions that were fed because people know like you uh, like can give them a little stimulus check here or do a little something there. And Biden, I'm, I'm saying he did a lot, but people don't see it because it takes years for these programs that he put in are still going to be benefiting people years later. Kamala Harris, when she was the district attorney of California, uh, put in a program to pay for foster kids to get college after they turn 18 and to have housing. How amazing is that? Did she get credit for that? No, nobody knows what's going on. They're just looking at being in the moment of right now and then watching their, their bros or whatever propaganda is being put out by billionaires. Right now we have a president ready to install foreseeing the evidence comes up before and something happens, which could, anything could happen. I've almost given up predicting it. I thought the attorney general would be, uh, I, well, I see this next attorney general not lasting very long, but that's hardly a prediction because Trump never keeps anybody for very long. Either you become a hardened criminal and you bow down to him, you give yourself away, or you 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 leave. <laughs> and I feel like she will. there's some things she won't do. So I give her about 10 months. I give her limited time. If she gets confirmed, probably she will, which is terrible because she was part of the uh, the takedown, the insurrection. So now we have a turn of general getting and a president who's a criminal being installed because of all the disinformation. Thanks, mainstream media, CNN. MSNBC has gotten better, but still they try to stain wash it and whitewash it so that you can't, you know, they're not really talking, they're not really talking about the environment. They're not really talking about, you know, they're they're saying, and, and Biden was doing this too. I love Biden, but he was doing this like the economy's good. Yeah, the economy's good if you're a big corporation, you're in the stock market and there's lots, there's more jobs, but a lot of people have two jobs or three jobs. So you don't really understand and i feel like kamala was talking to those people she got out there and she made these plans that would help more but she, uh, obviously she didn't get in there and partly because she's a woman and we still have you know american machismo going here we'd rather lose our country than let a woman run it so I know I sound, you know, so anyway, so we need to bust the game and stop electing person after person who is just going to get in there and then sell their soul to the lobbyists. Our government is bought and sold. And we've kind of been teetering along, you know, and slowly, like since the 70s, going in not a good direction. So we need to bust the game. And then when people come on that are really more for working class people or middle class, which we need to support to get the votes if we want a democracy. If if we just want to just go, well, I'm doing okay. And the corporations are, are polluting the planet. Our healthcare has gone crazy. Cost of housing is the, you know, groceries, whatever, price gouging. Because, oh yeah, it's still COVID, you know, two years later. So if we just want to say that, good luck. And then we can kind of maybe eke out another win or try to look at what happened, how they gerrymandered, how they disenfranchised voters. Maybe they even got in there. It looks like they got in there with, you know, the technology and did something. I'm not an expert in that. I don't, it looks like they did to me. So basically, um, Elon Musk and Teeter, uh, yeah, Teeter, Teal, I don't want to even say the names. They're not even American. They're not, they're, like from other countries. And then they, you know, and then 45 houses flag waving and all this stuff. He's not about America either. <laughs> They're just con jobs. And we, you know, and here you go, here you go. So, I mean, I'm hoping this something comes up, miracles can happen. 
it's like when I look at this, it looks like a big ball of wax, of yarn and wax just flongling along through space and time with all this stuff and trying to pick out like this is going to happen or that's going to happen. It changes every five minutes. So reading is not like it used to be. 20 years ago, you could read something and it was probably like, okay, now it's changing every five minutes. It's, it's, it's crazy. But we can see what's already happened. What's happened is that billionaires have the mainstream media, have the big drug companies, have the oil companies, have the even the insurance companies, and people are getting squeezed. And then, I, I mean, what are we leaving for our children for our future with the environment? And we're ignoring all that stuff. So I saw this one video this lady did. A lot of people are going to exit, exit, stay, like exit, like unsubscribe from life like not commit suicide, but they're just not gonna be here because the energy is so intense and either they're choosing to help from the other side or they're just they're just done with it. It's too, it's too, you know, and we're not really supporting each other in health like they do in Europe. I went to a uh, Greece and I would walk out of my hotel room at 4.30 and there'd be like 60 people. It was a family all at a restaurant, having music, singing, having food. And I came back at 11 o'clock at night and they were all still there and they were loving each other and having fun. In America, you're lucky if you see two people at a table, maybe a family, and we all live in houses by ourselves. We are sh shut off, isolated, and um, it, it, it's profits over people in America. And that's our problem is that too many people have sold out to the billionaires and now here we are. Can we oh, can we wake up and overcome this? And I'm gonna tell you a story about, Atlanta. there's my, my lavender light. Yay, she's here. That's a psychic phenomenon that's happening in my videos. So I just want you to know that energy is real. I could get a prediction wrong. I could, you know, <laughs> things can change, but this is real. This is energy. You can't make a metallic light shine on wood. That's my higher self light, proving that you too can shine your higher self and wake up from this insanity, crazy myth that we're living in here in America and on the planet. Okay, so that what really matters is that we are eternal beings and that whatever we do in this life will determine where we're going next. I mean, it's so it's 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 like. Everybody knows that stuff. I don't want to get for, too far out there. But when you look at history, if you have an understanding of what's happened here, then you can understand a little bit more about what's happening now. So we've been living in distortion where we've been taught that there is no reincarnation. Well, some Buddhists and Hindus, I think, believe in that. Some maybe Sufis or Sikhs, uh, so, so they believe in that. But... Tibetan monks believe in reincarnation, but we in the West here have been brainwashed that that's not real. And, you know, that you're a meat suit and then you die or that you need to not be a sinner and you need to capitulate to whatever the church is saying or something so you can be okay and have friends and be accepted in community because you have memories of the witch trials and you don't want that to happen to you. So, I mean, it's just, or, or you won't be accepted, but when we look at history and we look at all the movies that have made with the good guys and the bad guys and saving the world, that's not just all made up. That is here as a theme, as a story of earth. And because it's happened before, it's not just some made up fairy tale or movie. There are reasons for those themes in many movies, you know, the heroes saving the world because that's what we really want in our hearts of hearts. We want to be the heroes. We want the heroes to come and that can happen. So whether you believe in Atlantis or not, just listen to this as a story because it's the same souls that came in World War II that tried to, uh, that caused all that war and death. They're the same souls that are doing this. They're also the same souls that have caused much war, toxins, pollution, greed. And the story was in Atlantis, if you believe in that, if you think we just showed up here and evolved from monkeys 
in some forest in Africa. Well, good luck there. Or maybe God created us out of women out of Adam's rib. Well, hey, where did he come from? I mean, all these stories are all crazy. <laughs> but this may help you, whether you believe it or not, it may help you to understand a little bit more about what's going on because we can learn from history. So in Atlantis, there were two types of, well, there were other more animal or alien-like people, beings here, like you see the mermaids with the human head and the arms and the mermaid tail, or the centaurs with the animal body. And you saw those in Egypt, um, pictures, like those aren't just made up fairy tales. They are actually beings that were here. If you don't believe that, it's fine. I know I'm getting a little out there, but in this, like in this energy, like, come on. <laughs> so uh, what most of what we've been taught about history and who we are and what we're doing here, we don't even realize, but we can learn from history. So say there, say there were some people who are more connected to their animal instincts. Okay. Then there were these people who wanted, but there we'll put them aside because they're not really, they could go either way into the dark or the light, but we are the daughters and the sons of the light. And so there were people there who were helpful and they wanted to help people and they wanted everyone to be free. They didn't want slave labor. They didn't want to be controlled. They wanted to share. And then there were, it wasn't so much about the environment back then, because they had technology that was more advanced than ours that we're starting to pick up on. So we are getting new technology, which could save us or destroy us, depending on how we use it. But that's another video. Okay, so they felt like they had compassion for people and they really wanted to help people. And they, who was pitted against them was another group of beings that wanted to be the superior race. They wanted to control everybody have all the money and have all the power, which it isn't really about money, it's about power. Because if you have power, then you have all the money. So they wanted to control everything. And they used technology and giant crystals or something, I'm not sure what it was, to control that. And they ended up blowing the place up and causing a big earthquake and flood. So we are famous in this on this planet for knowing about our histories with earthquakes and floods. So that's why there isn't a lot of evidence of that civilization. Some people find things that are older than what we have for our written history. But any way you believe in it, that we evolved from monkeys or that we showed up, Adam showed up somewhere under a tree from like where, who knows, or from God or something. <laughs> who is God is up there, the stars, the other places, you know. So, I mean, it all sounds crazy anyway. I think it does. But anyway. So whether you believe this or not, these are the same beings that have been fighting us in World War II, in Atlantis, and in Lemuria, if you go back before that, there were, it was a very, a, a bunch of highly evolved beings that were here to help people to learn how to live in harmony with nature and the divine feminine, the divine masculine in, in, in equal balance, okay? But what happened with them is they didn't have boundaries. And so they got contaminated and their civilization spread out. And the other, the other, then we have, and it just kind of gently flooded and that was kind of just contaminated. Okay. So that's what's happening now. And in uh, 2030 is like the culmination of whether we're going to go to the dark or to the light. And there's a lot of prophecy that tells that we are going to the light, but we can wake up and bring it in sooner. Shouldn't we do that? Couldn't we do that? And that's like 45 is like this great awakener, the darkest dark and leaders of the country that start with R and these other billionaires are their foot soldiers. They're are really of these, these powers, these entities, these ideas, these energies that want to control what happens on earth. And so why am I saying all this? Because it's time for us to wake up to this and stop thinking that it's just about, um, I don't know, 
it is about all the small things because every victory is important. But it is about our young people and all of us waking up and stop being mind controlled, bust the game, bust the game. That's what it's about. We need to bust the game and we can do this. Hopefully it doesn't take 800 years. Hopefully it happens in 2030 or then we'll have another. So in many ways we are in a civil war right now. Okay, so um, what I wanted to talk about is who is the new leader coming forward? And I was looking at a guy yesterday, the Lieutenant Governor of New York, Anthony um, Del, what's his name? Delgar, Delgado, a young black man for the people. He looks promising. He looks like he may go to Washington, maybe as a Senator. Um, I was, so I'm looking for like, who is our next leader? I feel like Kamala is going to do a lot of good behind the scenes. And it, I, I mean, some people think she'll still be installed. I, I hope, but it, I mean, there, it, there are different things on timelines and we have free will. So if that timeline could happen, I hope it does, but I also need to be realistic that <laughs> it, um, that would cause a real civil war, but um, all right. But I mean, we're all kind of in one anyway. Um, so um, I feel like she's going to be writing a lot of laws and working to make voting more fair and working behind the scenes and exposing what happened to her and helping women. And I don't feel like she's going to run for president again. I feel like that it, it aged her tremendously. It, I think her daughter had a real issue with whether she wanted to be here on the planet or not, her stepdaughter. I think it really took a big toll on everybody. And I don't see her running for president again if she doesn't get somehow installed from when they find out all the cheating that happened and the, the uh, okay, so, and so, um, I feel like there's a young man, probably a man of color, and it could be Antonio. I'm also looking at Gavin Newsom, and I feel like Gavin Newsom may go to Washington as a senator. I feel like he's going to be very involved in politics. The problem I have with him, whereas I really like Antonio, the problem I have, because I feel like he's really for the people, is Gavin Newsom has gone against the people of California on some things that I really don't agree with. And so the left here doesn't complete like he's better than somebody else, but they don't like love him. This has to be somebody who is really working for the people who's going to bust the game and um, the mainstream media will probably not support them and say, well, mm, you know, that how they did with Bernie Sanders um, and probably how they did with um, Gore, Al Gore, um, who many people feel like he, he won or he should have won, but the Supreme Court threw it. So we are really gonna need to be on our game and find a young charismatic male because we have massage, we have to face the fact we have misogyny. We, you know, there's some things you can't get everything that you want. Sometimes you have to, um, you know. And so we're not against men. Uh, the left, you know, maybe people think they're not, you know, guys, guys, and supporting, you know, football or something. I don't, uh, you know, or or whoever the they're dear leaders are at the moment. Um, so I am looking and I'm going to continue to look, but I feel like this guy has promise. He may be a Senator. He could run in 2028. 20, um, somebody's going to step up for 2028 for president, a young man. And so I am on the watch for that. And um, I don't feel like it will be Gavin Newsom. I feel like he could try to run, but I don't feel like he would win. Um, 
because he doesn't really have the people's back like we want him to. And people know that. People in California know that. I mean, like, he's okay, but yeah. Okay. So we'll be watching that. And um, take really good care of yourself. And it really helps me if you um, subscribe to my videos and share my videos. Maybe, I guess, sometimes I think I don't want to be that out there because the work I'm doing is really sacred. And I, I um, <laughs> need to respect my time and energy. I am going to be taking the week off for Thanksgiving. I might pop on and do a quick little video. But I kind of need to recharge my energy and get clear and see what comes in. And so I'll be back to report what's new. Um, mm, probably next, what is this, Saturday? Probably by next sa Friday or Saturday, I'll be back with a video for you. And you can check out my spiritual videos, my healing videos. And uh, sending you lots of love. Take care. Bye.